Good afternoon. It is February 2nd, 2022, Groundhog Day. I don't know if the Groundhog saw his shadow or not. Chances are there's going to be six more weeks of winter. Um, it's new moon in Aquarius. And I think it's time to, to, to um, reflect this month on what you want to create in your life for 2022. If you do the numerology for the date 0202, 2022, if you add it up, it is a 10, which um, then reflects to a 1. Again, you can Google it and decide what um, number resonates with you. I'm going to do a five card spread for New Moon and Aquarius. I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to use two decks. I'm going to use the Moonology Manifesting deck, and I'm going to use the Kyle Gray Keeper of the Light deck. And then I'm going to pull or the cards will tell me, Soul's Journey. Um, and it's important when you're doing um, healing work that you stay in the state of gratitude. So I'm going to pull some cards that may help you um, have gratitude. So you want to make a list of five to ten people or things that make you grateful. So I hopefully the Soul's Journey cards will just kind of give you incentive. So let's go. Numbers for today. One, three, three, four, and a six. Oh, my dog's barking at something. I don't know what's barking at. Initials. A T, an M, an A, and a G. Let's see. Gratitude is always... I pull the bottom card. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So these are just, you're going to reflect on things that you can be gratitude, <clears throat> grateful for. Let's see what the cards have to say. Things that you're grateful for. Thank you. Things that you're grateful for. Things that you're grateful for. One more time, thing that you're grateful for. First one, change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So look in your life maybe where there has been change and how you can be um, <coughs> express gratitude for that. As well, the next card came out with surrendering. I can release my need to control. So are there things in your life that have changed that where you gave surrender and how you can be grateful for it abundance i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire okay how in in your life currently are you abundant and give great gratitude for that we also got freedom we also got i guess the last one was gratitude i kind of like that this came out so take some time or don't, I don't care, um, to write various things that you are grateful for. So the five card spread, okay, card one will be represent the current energy um, during this new moon. Card two will be a fresh new idea that will come to you. Card three will something that I need to free myself from. Card four will how will this new moon um, set the tone for the rest of the year. Card five will be what to set my attention on so energy will flow in that direction. So overall themes. I like that one. New moon and Taurus. Know your worth. Good card. Um, paired with Lady Venus. Downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insight coming from heaven and astral realms. Okay, so that's the overall theme for the spread. So card number one, representing the energy. A few came out. We've got first quarter moon and Aries, step into your power. So this is all your current energy this month during the new moon. Okay. You also have the energy of breathing through tension. 
which is funny because I just did a breathwork video before this. And also the energy of forgiveness. I think the reading before this was about forgiveness as well. So that's your energy um, for the month. Fresh new idea that's coming. Fresh new idea. Sorry, my dog went outside his boundary. Fresh new idea. Fresh new idea. Thank you. A few came out. Unleash your kind of self. No wonder it was hard to get cards. All right. Open up to change. Speak your world into being. Cooling your emotions. Go wild. And reveal what needs to be seen. So those are all about new ideas that will come to you. It sounds like you just need to start taking action, start speaking it um, into being. Third card, something I need to free myself from. Thank you. Cards are coming in clumps, so I don't overly like it, but it is what it is. So you need to learn to relax. Okay, you're freeing yourself from stress. Okay, take some time to learn how to relax. What else are you freeing yourself? Okay, learning to keep your heart open. So you're freeing yourself from shame, from judgment, um, from those low vibrations. How will this new moon set the tone for the rest of the year? Let's see what comes out. Setting the tone for the rest of the year. Setting tone for the rest of the year. Take your reality check. Okay, so time to take a look at your environment, your home environment, your work environment, your love environment. Okay. Is it the life that you want to lead? Okay. Take that reality check. And five, how do you set what to set my intentions to so the energy will flow? So what are you going to set your intentions to attention to? Ooh. Think it through. So I definitely feel for some of you, it, there's a change coming. You just need to start to speak it into action. You've got a lot of cards under a fresh new idea. Um, take what resonates. I, I can't tell you what um, your change is going to be, but there is a change coming. And let's see what the Keeper of the Lights have to say. So the energy of the new moon. energy of the new moon and the energy of the new moon that's too many thank you soul flame rediscover a lost part of yourself experience relationship and harmony and healing nice card okay so this energy during the next during the new moon is really looking at your soul Okay, how you want to live your life, how you want 2022 to look like. It's a good card. I've never got that card before. A fresh new idea that will come to you. That was paired with about seven cards, so hopefully that many don't come out. I don't want to take that many this time. A fresh new idea. And a fresh new idea. funny how cards some days will just pop and other days I'll just like that's a whole shit like that. Okay. 
and often it could be me um, if my energy is not right, which sometimes it's not. Thank you. Teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call and don't let anything stop you. I get nervous when I do cards because I feel like I'm not fast enough. So I, I find the cards won't come out. So that's a reminder to me as well. Um, so this was about a fresh new idea that will come to you. So, you know, take what resonates. Third card is something that you need to free yourself from. What do you need to free yourself from? A blue jay, just, I don't know what you call it. Con. Free yourself from ascension, move into your true self, rise above the darkness, the light is here. <coughs> as well as higher learning. You have learned from experience, more inner study is now required. Yes, I hear you. How will this new moon set the tone for the rest of the year? It's pairing with taking a reality check. I might have to cleanse my cards after this. I've been using them quite a bit. One more time. You want to talk to us or not? Come on. How do we set the tone? Thank you. Oh, I just want to jump. Soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. I kind of feel like that's the whole energy of the last few years. Um, I'm not going to get into a political debate, but everybody thinks they're right and they're experts, but we seem to forget that we all have to live together. Um, whether you're religious or not, if you know the story of Babylon. I just don't understand anymore. Um, last card, what to set your attention to so the energy will flow. What to set your attention to. Sacred vision, choose to forgive. Okay, so take some time to forgive. I actually think that was our beginning. No, it wasn't. Shine your light. Divine intervention is incurring. And karma is releasing. Overall, I kind of feel like this was a really good read, although it kind of took a while to jump out. I don't know why that is. It's probably me right now. Um, but take some time to reflect in this new moon what you want for 2022. I definitely think that people are looking for a change and they want to know what their worth is. Okay, I know that this was a little bit jumbled coming out, but I hope it's helpful. Take care.